Welcome to Pop Culture Retro, which was recently voted the 15th best podcast by the residents of the Golden Years Retirement Community in Boca Raton, Florida. Each show, we'll revisit some of your favorite pop culture memories with insider and outsider perspectives. Now, please help me welcome your hosts, Ike Eisenman and Jonathan Rosen. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Pop Culture Retro. I'm one of your hosts, Jonathan Rosen, along with my co-host, one of the few people who did not have a, his own variety show in the 70s, Ike Eisenman. Ike, how are you today? <laughs> I'm good. And thank God for that, because I, I, <laughs> I, I, I singing and dancing and all of that t- terrifies me beyond all belief, and I'm, I'm no good at it. So it would not have it wouldn't have lasted as long as some of these ones that barely well, lasted on the air at all. So, <laughs> so the, that's our that's our theme this week. In case you haven't guessed, that is it. We're, we're talking about seventies variety shows, and like you just said, there are some. Everyone had one. First of all, it looks like I was shocked by the amount of people that had one, and there were some that only lasted like two, three episodes. Also, before they were yanked, yeah, because there were like a ton of them. I mean, I, I I know I was I was quite literally overwhelmed as as I was trying to put my my list together or at least put some stuff down that we could name. It just it was like anyone and everyone who had a television show in the seventies had a variety show for you know short or longer period of time. It was just crazy, and all you know all kinds of people will probably I don't know. Of course, when we run down our lists, um, they'll come up, but I. I I have to say I was a huge fan of variety shows. I really <laughs> liked them. I enjoyed them very much, mm-hmm. and um, kind of I, I I don't know if 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 uh, Tom Jones show uh, spilled over into the seventies. It might have, but my first Tom Jones had a several had a small variety show in the seventies. Yes, yeah, I, I th- but I think it started in the late sixties because that was my my kind of my first experience with a uh, with a variety show that, that that was really fun and in our household when my father wasn't around because he was always a buzzkill when my dad wasn't <laughs> around my mother my brother and I would watch Tom Jones and dance in the living room to all the songs and it was <laughs> really... there's a video of that oh no not a chance man no no <laughs> You know, yeah, there was no video in those days, thank goodness. Um, but that was it was it, it was really great fun and and um and and so that was my you know, I was like seven years old, so I was very young, but that was my you know, first experience and my foray into this whole um genre, if you will, of enter- television entertainment. Well, there there were variety shows going back, like fifties and sixties. Oh yeah, huge variety shows. And but to me, like seventies, I, I don't know if that's the heyday. I mean, to me, it it, it is there because there were so many of them. But uh, but there are no more. I, I don't. What do you attribute that to? I mean, I, I guess you, you might say Saturday Night Live is one, in a kind of a way. But there's really no variety shows today like that. I I don't know. I think they just have their time, and kind of in doing the research. You know, the, there's a, a, a couple of different sites that commented about this. You know, consider the Steve Allen show and Jack Parr and Johnny Carson and mm-hmm. David Letterman as designated them as variety shows. And it seemed like the late and night thing was what yeah. I don't know. I well, but they always had, they had musical acts, they had com- comedians, yeah. you know, there were skits, um, but there were talk shows where you spent time yeah. talking to um, celebrities and guests. So that was an added component that the variety shows didn't have. I mean, they were just straight up, you know, scripted um, mm-hmm. entertainment along with along with the music and the, the comedy and, and all of that stuff. But there was I don't know, it was something there was something. And I don't I don't know where I don't know where this started, but it seemed like the, um, you know, the, the poking fun at themselves uh, and each other. And being goofy and kind of stupid was was a running theme in all of these shows. Oh. And um, you know, they were self-deprecating and 
and you don't um, think is that a Smothers Brothers thing that started there? I, I don't because that's where like I first I, I look it was before my time, but from the clips I've seen, that was like some of the earliest stuff doing it. Yeah, I don't know, and I love this. The Smothers Brothers is was a show mm -hmm. I loved, but if you think you know, Laugh In is something that is is a is another one that that's kind of there in the in the very you know early days of of, of this you know the early part of the seventies. And that had a lot of self-deprecating humor in it. So for some reason, that was just, I, I, and I don't know why it's, you know, that even became a thing. But then you look at Sonny and Cher, and you want to talk about really, you know, I mean, slamming each other in, in, mm -hmm. in, in all of their comedic bits. Um, it just, I don't know. It's, it's, just I don't think it's slamming each other much more as much as one way. I think it's always usually the one way. It's usually the woman to the guy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I absolutely. That's that's what, it, <laughs> most definitely. It was like, Sonny especially came off as just kind of like in, in a bit of an idiot, a sweet, kind idiot. And then she just waylaid him every time, you know, he made a comment. And it's funny stuff, man. I got to tell you, it's really, really, really funny stuff. But I don't know. I don't know where it started. It, that 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 um, that's that style of humor or the hosts, you know, making fun of each other or, you know, just not taking it seriously. But I think that's kind of what why it worked, because if it if they had taken themselves seriously, I don't think anyone would have cared to watch at all. I mean, I you know, so. I don't know if, so it just made, if it just humanized, you know, humanized these celebrities or these stars, made them more <laughs> like us, you know, for for what it's worth. Um, I'm not really sure, but that, you know, just all of a sudden popped into my head. Good grief! That's like that, that was a running theme through through all of them. Um, yes. So, you know, I I uh, I just remember particularly really enjoying them, and I have to tell I have to tell a Smothers Brothers story because oh, I um, love Smothers Brothers. Let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I actually guest starred in a a, a a series that that Tom and Dick Smothers starred in called Fits and Bones. And <laughs> okay, yes, okay. I have no idea why they chose this title. It was Fits F i t z and bones b o n e s and tom and dick Smothers. Wait, that, that's on your imdb <laughs> it's not on my imdb because i had to go back and look it up to find out when the show uh when the show aired and it was 1981 um when when the show came on and tom and dick smothers for some reason either got approached to or they developed i don't know if they developed the show and 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 co-produced it or not but it was a drama it wasn't a comedy and they were playing um like uh i don't know what you call them um you know reporters street reporters uh, dick okay. uh, dick um you know tommy tommy played the cameraman and dick played the stand-up guy and they were investigative reporters and they they you know covered hard-hitting stories and my character in in this episode was um, I was a teenage alcoholic, and that's what they were dealing with was 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 you know this this problem, and it was incredibly ridiculously over the top emotional and dramatic and all of that and and um, and I couldn't man for the life of me I could not figure out why why you know and I don't remember what network it was on it might have been NBC I, don't, I thought why on earth would they put Tom and Dick's mothers in this overly dramatic um you know television show but meeting and working with them was absolutely amazing because tom uh tom was really the brains behind everything he was incredibly smart very witty very funny all the time and dick was kind of like serious all the time but I was sitting down. Uh, I was sitting down down with Dick and waiting to to go shoot a scene, and we were just chit chatting. And he was talking about how, um, like, that very night, I think it was that very night on the day we were shooting, they were going to be uh, both co hosting the uh, the Emmy Awards, and oh, wow. um, and 
and I was like, yeah, well, that's that's uh, wonderful. It's amazing. He says, he says, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna host it in drag. We're both gonna dress up in drag. And <laughs> and I said, really? He said, yeah, you know, dresses and wigs and the whole nine yards. And and just offhandedly, I didn't mean it to be anything at all serious. I said, yeah, but what are you gonna do about the mustache? And he says, oh no, I'm gonna leave the mustache because that's funny. And I went, mm, yeah, I thought to myself, you're right. That is, that, that's funny. But that's just the way they, they, they thought and mm -hmm. the way they worked. And I thought, man, this, the, there's no way this show will survive. It was only on for four, only four episodes aired. And that was it. It was yanked. Well, I'm looking at it now. I never even heard of the show. I don't even, I don't remember it whatsoever. Well, I, there are probably so many shows you've never heard of whatsoever because they come and they go and they disappear like re very fast and the only reason i know about it is because i was i was in an episode mm -hmm. and i don't think my name i don't think my episodes even because my episode did air i i'm pretty yeah. darn sure mine aired um but i'm not listed as a as a guest star on the on their imdb page it's not even listed on the title's not listed on my IMDb page because uh, I went specifically looking for it to find out, you know, if it was even there. Because, I mean, you talk about a forgotten TV show. My gosh. <laughs> but, I mean, are that... There clip, it, are there clips of this on YouTube? Did you check even or no? I had... I did not. I did not look. No, I, I haven't. I, I haven't looked. And, and it wasn't a show that I recorded for myself. So quite possible my my episode didn't air it was it was you know perhaps later in the schedule and they just they just killed the show before you know before right, the, the opening credits are on youtube i'm gonna have to check this out afterwards you might want to include the opening credits are here <laughs> <laughs> oh so crazy um but you know that's in going back to you being pulled quickly there there were so many of the variety shows that were yanked fast because um Mary Tyler Moore had a show. It was only yep, aired for three know. episodes, and it was it was yanked right away. Um, and I think there were there are a, a number of others where were only one of them, like they only one episode aired, and then they were they were gone. So there was a big churn and burn when it came to these shows. Mm -hmm. And then when they hit, they definitely hit well and were extremely popular i mean i'm I like the like the, the flip wilson show which i was a huge fan of i just absolutely loved that show and of course sunny and Cher had a good run and shockingly enough to me the brady bunch comedy hour which is the yes. most ridiculous <laughs> the most ridiculous thing i could possibly think of and i watched um, that i did watch that regularly oh i'm was sure on. you did i'm sure you did <laughs> But um, yeah, it, 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 it lasted at least a year, it, you know, um, from 76 to 77. So, and I don't have, I don't have all the, the dates on my titles for how long these, these, these show, shows ran, but. Uh, was it, was it Jan, right? The, the one that played Jan, Eve Plum, she was the one that didn't do it, right? Yeah, exactly. They, which is even <laughs> more bizarre. Cause like there's this, the random girl who, uh, right. who just shows up playing uh playing jan <laughs> i think that, see all right first of all before before i get too in all right i'll, I'll give credit there okay because it's my daughter who came up with wanted us to do this oh. episode. So my mind like, yes we have to give her credit uh, which i am <laughs> just blown away by your young daughter who says <laughs> we should do a show about variety shows and i was like why did not one of us think of this i don't know but <laughs> Well, she has watched every single Donnie and Marie episode that there's been. <laughs> she lo and I've mentioned before, <laughs> she's a huge Donnie Osmond fan. So she's watched every episode. She, she wanted to do this. And, you know, I and she was like jealous that I lived through these, <laughs> lived through this time when they had it. <laughs> but I did love Donnie and Marie. I love and. People are going to be so shocked by this, but I loved Sonny and Cher because I was a huge Cher fan. You know, I, I don't know what to, people are going to be surprised by that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who knew? Man, who who, who would have thought? <laughs> right. But I, but I loved this. And then Sonny and Cher did one, did this. When they got divorced, they went, did their own solo shows. And I think then they came back, even though divorced, they yeah, did they, one together. Did, 
they did they came back for for a while yes they did which was absolutely incredible a little bit bizarre with that but yeah that was but you know but i love that show i watched that show that show i also watched religiously because again people are gonna be shocked i remember Cher being my first crush so that's why i always, <laughs> always watched it I, I think she was my she might have been one of the first posters i had on my wall and if this somehow gets to her i've been asking every day on twitter for Cher to do an interview <laughs> over here so i hope that gets back that's my dream guest so we will see without yeah but those were those ones that i really watched religiously but there were others i don't know if you remember like starland vocal band you remember them right okay vaguely okay they had this they had that huge song the one hit wonder afternoon delight oh yes in of course. yes yes they were given their own show at one point <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you remember that even it was like they had their own i don't know if it was just one episode or like a, a several but they were given their own show and it was just like based on one hit there was it the one hit wonder and they were given their own show and like you said before, all these people had like one show or something like that. Yeah. Uh, it, well, it was, yeah. I mean, it, any, uh, like I said, any, any like anybody who had any kind of notoriety, it seemed like had got their shot at, at a variety show. And I can't imagine anything more difficult to try to do. But here's the, here's the ones that I did not think of right away. And when I'm doing the research on this, and I don't know why I didn't think of them because it just didn't come to mind. And they are variety shows. You, I, you could, constitute carol burnett show as a variety show oh I mean, I, really. yeah I, ha I have it down i would i i didn't actually see it come up in in, in lists and mentions but uh, totally i totally believe it was i mean it was more skit comedy uh sketch comedy but um right. but they still had didn't she have musical guests on musical once in a while I remember she, yeah the jacksons were on there yeah she had musical and the jacksons had their own variety show too by the way yeah <laughs> Yeah, but and, and then again, another one that's listed in variety shows, and yeah, the, the, the Muppets. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, 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 of course. And and that one did not they, come I up mean, for me. It's, I mean, that's that's a variety show as well to me, and it makes sense that to me. No, one hundred percent. I totally, I totally agree. What was, the, which were the ones that you watched religiously, or you didn't? Oh no, that, no, I did. Carol Burnett show for sure. Flip Wilson for sure. I couldn't stomach mm -hmm. the idea of the Brady Bunch comedy hour. Um, so that was not going to be something <laughs> that was going to get my attention. But I mean, you know, pretty much if, if they, if in Sunny and Cher watched growing up, Tom Jones, like I said already, um, we we enjoyed we enjoyed those shows. But I don't remember seeing Harry Tyler Moore's. You know. I mean, you know, occasionally, because, because, because did, 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 um, oh God, because I have down here Bobby Goldsboro. I don't know if, if he had a numbers of shows or he just did, um, like specials every once in a while. Um, but John Denver, I, I'm trying to remember, and I didn't really look him up. He's just coming to mind. Did he do one, or did he just do specials every once in a while also? I thought those were specials. I, I don't remember him having a, a constant show. I do remember him having specials that came on. It would be the same thing, like, you know, like Bob Hope had all those shows there, which were variety show format, but he didn't have his own show. It was like you know every once in a while NBC threw him up on the on this on the you know this the schedule to yeah. do a regular show, um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't call him a regular variety show just because I don't think it wasn't like a constant thing on the schedule. It was like to me it was like a once a year type thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean there were a lot of those peppered in, you know, here and there also, and and so it it, it kind of. The, it becomes kind of a wash in my head, you know, between the specials and then the, the shows that were on that were on every week. But um, but like I well, said, Donnie I mean, and Marie also I watched religiously. Also, I mean for for sure. Yeah, that, I mean yeah. That's... I think I think we watched we watched it once in a while, but um, but I you know, yeah, I, I'm I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. But um, the other ones that I mentioned, yes, religiously, and you know, laugh in. Even though I was too young to get a lot of the humor and laugh in, 
we watched that all the time as well. Absolutely loved that show. Well, uh, Tony Orlando, that's another one I did watch. Oh, there you go. Tony. Yeah, good grief. Yeah. Well, here, here are the ones that that I was shocked that had their own show that because I don't remember them at all. I mean, I was wondering if you did. The Don Knotts had his variety show. He had like a season that said, "Do you remember that?" I don't know that I. No, I don't think I. I don't remember it. No. It's I again another one. Um, Dolly Parton had her own variety show. I don't remember that one for whatever reason. Uh -huh. And I love Dolly Parton, but I don't remember that one. <clears throat> the one I do remember the the Croft, and we had on Sid Croft, and we talked about it with him a little bit. The Croft, uh, you know, super show he had with the with his puppets and and also like you know musical guests every week. So that one I did watch. I think that was a Saturday morning more one. I'm not. I don't remember. And here, here's and here's another one that a big one. No, here's a big one from the '70s that I guess is a variety show. Hee Haw. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Of course it is. Of course it is. Yes. I, one, I, one... I I have a hee haw moment where oh it is. I love that he... show. Well, I you know I I didn't get it, and we were we were watching well, you know, it one night. Sorry, you don't like country music as much as me. Oh no, no, right? I'm, I'm that... not. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care for it very much. But um, I just remember watching, and I was probably God, you know, like I'm trying to think, nine years old or something like that. And and it was just one of those seminal life moments where you have this realization. And they told like some kind of banter and joke was right. told with the punchline. <laughs> And I heard the joke and I turned to my mother and I said, mom, when am I going to be old enough to understand this? <laughs> and she said, I don't know. She says, I'm not exactly sure I understand it. And I'm a lot older than really? you are. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was like, I just didn't, of course I didn't get the joke. It wasn't funny to me. And the audience is laughing. So I'm figuring I'm supposed to get it, but I was too young to get it. And so, and so there it is. But yeah, Hee Haw is not a, not a favorite, not a, not a favorite. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. I, I was, no, no. If, if you've got more to bring up, do so. I just, I just got, I got overwhelmed with trying to look at them all. And there, there, there were just so many, there were so many. Um, did you have any, any, any more that you, that you found? Yeah. Well, here's the, here's the ones that, I mean, again, I remember Captain and Tennille. Yes. Uh, their show. And of course, Shana and I, you could count as a variety show as well. And they, yeah. they had another. That was, uh, that was one that I watched also. Yeah. Um, here's ones that I don't remember. Helen Reddy had a variety show. I don't remember that one. Uh, that you sounds, saw I, I think I saw her, her show. Yes. Yeah. I think so. I watched a lot of TV and I don't remember that one at all. Yeah. And uh, of course, Dinah Shore's a show. But... Uh, Here's, you know, Dick Van Dyke for his own variety show, and I don't remember that one either. Man, I don't, I don't either. <laughs> and it's yeah. that, that that was Andy Kaufman's first appearance in primetime television on oh, Dick Van Dyke. Really show. interesting, interesting. So here, here's the other one, Pat well, Paulson. That... You remember having a variety show? Oh yeah, Pat Paulson had one. No, I didn't know he. Oh, you know what? Yes, I do, because he was so funny. He was one of those. There was a group of those, the group of, of, of comedians that did all these shows, you know, they would, they would appear on these shows like Rich Little and Foster Brooks and, right. and Toady Fields and, and, you know, some of those, just those really great entertainers. And Pat Paulson was, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember what he was on the Smothers Brothers comedy hour. Yeah. And, and, and then, yeah, I do remember him getting his own show. See that escapes me. And the the good thing for variety shows with me, it's it's really that it was a family thing. It was like you could watch it all together as a family. Yeah. So there was something for for everyone. Like you said, you you watched it with your 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 mom. I watched it with my parents. I remember doing that too. It really was, you know, the the you didn't necessarily understand all the jokes, 
but there was something for everyone. There were like, you know, acts for younger people. There were acts, you know, that the parents would, would like as well. So that's one of the things that does stand out to me. And uh, you don't, you don't see that as much anymore that, you know, that's, that's one of the things that, that, like we said a few more, I don't know what the reason is. It's just maybe, you know, capturing an audience, but there was a nice thing that you could all sit together as a family and watch these shows. Yeah, no, I, I, I completely agree. I think that's, that was really what the appeal was. And that was very much what the, you know, the seventies, um, the seventies were about, um, but, you know, with the advent of, of cable television and then having more choices available, more TVs in the house, because, you know, having, if, if, if your household had more than one television, you were just, you were rich. <laughs> I mean, you know, you kind of, you, you, you had, you, you had money. There was one TV and everybody had to decide what to watch. And so the entertainment really was geared around being able to provide, you know, provide something for everyone so that everyone could sit down and watch it yeah and that you know that's that we that appeal is a big thing we did not have money but we had two i remember there was one in my parents room and one in the living room yeah no way that the kids get their own tvs like that time like no there was just no way right we, oh we sure delegated sure. in the uh <laughs> but the, eventually the... you know every, eventually everyone's got a tv in, in their own room now we, we carry them around in our pockets for goodness right, sake exactly. you know so so it's like the, there's it's it's not a one-stop shopping um enterprise anymore um everyone just it can consume what what they want to consume and you mentioned you mentioned them a couple of times already to me, Flip Wilson and people. Don't, I'm sure there are a lot of people now who are not familiar with Flip Wilson now. So I'm like, I'm like, you're like into entertainment there, but for the casual person, I don't think they know Flip Wilson. And yeah, he was hysterical. He was hysterically just really funny. And if you can, go, whoever watching this, if you don't know him, to go on and look at some of the clips of yeah, because there are quite a, there's there's quite a few on YouTube, and they're and and they're. Yeah, I mean, I I made sure I went and watched a couple of them just to, you know, just to reconnect with reconnect with that, and and it, it brought back tons of memories because uh, we we absolutely loved that show. He was incredibly funny, funny skits, very you know, very very very, very entertaining. Like his, his, he did the Geraldine thing, right? I remember that? But his stand up, his jokes were really good. I mean, he's, he's, that's why he was given his own show, obviously. But his just his stand up routine in general. I've seen several bits that he did, and you like you're on the floor. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Funny, funny stuff. And I don't know, Bill Cosby. I remember having his own variety show, and it shows here too. It's as part of the list. Oh. Diane Carroll variety show. Um. Like I said, there was just so many, like you, you mentioned, there was definitely overwhelming the amount that there were, because this, to me, that's the, that's the era. This is the seventies were the era of the variety show. And, uh, you know, I, I remember most of them. I do definitely remember most of them, but I don't remember all of them. Tim Conway, I do. I think I do remember Tim Conway show a little bit too. There. So your yeah, favorites, yeah. It, it, it was like, like, the, you know, when the, when the, the supporting the like pat paulson right. and tim conway the supporting when the supporting talent then got their own show it tended to falter there's, i agree <laughs> there's there's a reason why there's a main you know the uh the, the main personality that runs the show that that is their show and it works um and there's a, a reason why i mean look tim conway's absolutely a genius and and yes. his work on carol burnett was just it, it was i mean just side splitting funny all the time but you but but when that lane is so you're so powerfully strong in that lane and then you get you get pushed over into you know the the main spot even that much talent doesn't necessarily carry it carry it off well you're putting you, you put don knots in that same category to me yeah 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 and 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 this on the same token people that are good and like you have the mary tyler moore good in sitcoms to that's 
wasting her putting in a variety show. You know, it's uh, if you're doing yeah, the, if you do comedy well, it doesn't necessarily mean that you could just be like off the cuff in humor. <laughs> you know, there, there are different there are different categories of people. You know, that people can do these type of things. Uh, I don't necessarily think that they always translate into Carol Burnett does. I think she's very good in both things, obviously. Yeah. As a <clears> yeah. actor and a variety show, but I don't think necessarily every actor is. Yeah, no, I mean, completely. That's why so many of them came and went. And the same for musicians. I mean, just because you, you, you're, you've you got popular music out there that everybody wants to hear doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to get up in front of an audience and 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 be funny. <laughs> no, <laughs> many of them are. Many of them are. But, you know, not not all of them. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who, who would be good today who do you think could lead a variety show today? Anyone oh. come to your mind? I don't, you know, I don't know. It's a, it's a tough one because um, big pause. The one person that I would think that could pull it off and he's the only person that probably should try it and all of a sudden his name has escaped me. Um, um, um <laughs> Seth Seth McFarlane. I could see him doing that. I think he I, I mean, think he I definitely see him. He's an incredible singer. And I don't know if you've heard his music. I mean he's an incredible yeah. singer. He's in yeah. he's just and he's like just one of the funniest people out there, period. And and it almost seems like it would be a it would be a perfect not that he doesn't have enough on his plate. He doesn't do, you know, he has so many shows he writes and produces and and you know appears in and voices um but it just sounds it just seems like he 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 would have a take on it that might be really um uh, really interesting i i could see that i could definitely see that I, to me the one that i was thinking of who would never do it with anything like this either but i could see like someone like jack black doing something like that oh yeah you know? absolutely that's a you know, like yeah a, a whole nother direction sure yeah, because he's just, he's very funny and he's, you know, a great singer too. So I could definitely see him uh, pulling something like that off. But uh, yeah, I, look, I mean, there are probably several that could do it. But again, I would I would be interested in seeing the take on it, a modern take on the variety show. And I don't count the talk shows like they do as, as variety shows uh, as that, because it's a different format than what we know as pure variety shows. Yeah, it, it almost seems like if anyone was going to try to do it, it's got to be almost satirical in a way, you know, like a the tongue in cheek throwback to the to the heyday of variety shows. I, I I just I just don't know if it would just if it would have any very strong appeal uh, to get people to to sit down and watch singing, dancing, and sketch comedy and <laughs> and you know personality banter and all of that i mean it, it, it i think it'd be a tough sell and it'd be a, t <laughs> be a tough a tough show to produce yeah. so who do you who do you which ones were your absolute favorites the ones that you just said is it flip wilson that was the t that heads your flip, list flip wilson sunny and share i i would say those two um absolutely absolutely top of my list yeah i i know so again, for me, it's I definitely have to say the Sunny and Cher too, and uh, I probably Donnie and Marie show. I did love that show. <laughs> <laughs> and again, if I don't put it in, my it will kill me later on. Yeah, <laughs> so. they did a great show. They did. I was just I was either a little too old, or I'm I'm, I'm not sure. I just yeah, it, I I I didn't uh, I didn't quite connect with it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you've seen the behind the scenes, like you know, like the documentary type, where they did the show in the Osmonds. They weren't necessarily thrilled with that either. Their show. <laughs> I mean, oh. They, they uh, well, it's, it's all it all of a sudden it went from uh, it went from you know the Osmonds as an act to now. It's just Donnie and Marie, you know, just uh, yeah, you know, taking the others out of the equation, kind of a little bit. Yeah, like, but no, I did. Like I said, I love them all, and uh, I thought I think we covered. I think we covered everything that we need to for this, for the most part. Unless it's something. Yeah, else no, this this you know it was funny. This was 
there was so much material here to, to look through, but when you got to dig that deep and, you know, comment about shows that, that you never saw it and no one's going to ever hear of, <laughs> it's kind of tough, but yeah, I think we pretty, we pretty much covered it most definitely. Um, well, there are a lot of clips. There are a lot of clips online that you can see. Yeah. Oh, you can definitely see yeah. a lot of these still clips still too. And I definitely recommend looking up. Um, and you could get DVD packages of a lot of these series, <laughs> a lot of, because we it's do have true. the Donnie and yeah. Me one here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Of course. Of course. Of course. And I'll have to get this. I'll have to get the Sunny and Chai. I think I have one season of the Sunny and Chai. I have to get the others as well. But uh, <laughs> so again, I share if you want to come on ever. <laughs> but, yes. But I'll, I'll, I'll yes, please. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I can stop my I can stop my my Twitter stuff. My, my, my Twitter stuff. But anyway, let us know. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. If you have any favorites, did we miss any that you uh that you remember and love? Which uh agree, disagree with some of the ones that we did like. And uh as always, thanks for watching. And please subscribe. Thank you for listening to Pop Culture Retro, where no one was hurt during the making of this podcast.